capture the idea of them hiking. So we've got mountains and waterfalls and all this stuff. And we wanted it simple uh, with, the, with the website on it. We think it's ridiculous, of course, because, you know, I mean, I, the kids would think it's ridiculous. You know, it's like, we can't even go there, really. You know, it's a scary word. People like, a bandy it, like to bandy it about, but we know the kids, we know who they are. And we think the rest of the world pretty much knows who they are by now, too. You know, they're good kids. My daughter has this intense uh, curiosity and love of the world, especially, you know, Middle Eastern culture. She was really, really excited about living in the Middle, Middle East. They were having a wonderful time living in Syria, her and Shane. Um, you know, for this all to happen, it, I, you know, it's just un, unfathomable. It would have been nothing they would ever have imagined. I'm sure it won't change the perspective of people in the Middle East, but, you know, she's like so many young people in this country who feel you know, that desire. They're citizens of the world. They want to learn what it's all about out there. She knows how to meditate. She does a lot of yoga. She's done nonviolent communication training. I don't know if people know what that is, but it helps. You know, it, it all helps to like sort people out and stay calm in the midst of things which may be difficult to sort out. Uh, so I imagine that she's had her moments, but I know she's strong enough to make it through this and that she will. We're optimistic that it will end. Uh, we hope it's going to be uh, sooner than later. We, we're just going to keep taking it one step at a time. You know, when information comes to us, we step back. We think about the best thing to do for our children, uh, whatever will call, cause them the least harm, the best move to take. And we're just going to keep doing it until we get them released.